I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will consider continuity of functions with relation to limits. So let me take some examples before we open the discussion on this topic. So I'll actually sketch four different graphs. Uh, one let us have a continuous function and then we'll have discontinuous functions. So, so in those functions we'll discuss what type of discontinuity we are dealing with. So the concept here is to learn about when is the function continuous, when it is discontinuous and if it is discontinuous what kind of discontinuity it has. So when we say continuous function good example is polynomials right so we can just draw a polynomial function for example and that function will always be continuous it has no breaks now the graph could be smooth could have some you know uh, corners or cusp but then still it will be considered a continuous function right so let me give you one in which we have kind of corners right so so a radical function like this will be considered as a continuous function however there is a cusp here so there could be cusp and corners absolute function is another good example of uh, of continuous functions right so we could have absolute functions which are also continuous. So all these functions which are continuous in these functions limit is equal to the value of function right so so whenever we say uh, limit of the function at as x approaches a so of any function f of x we find it is equals to f of a so that is the limit at any point a for a continuous function well at times we could be working in restricted domain right that is also possible and we may just discuss uh, the limit of the function in that particular domain for example if we have a function like this in that particular domain this function is continuous correct so likewise there could be many different scenarios but common thing here is that the limit of the function exists and its value is equal to the value of the function at that point so so let me summarize here uh, for continuity what did we write for continuity we kind of wrote that uh, first that the limit exists and second is uh, limit equals to value of function we are talking about a particular point right so in general at a point if the limit exists and that limit is equal to value of the function then the function is continuous right so broadly speaking that is what we're trying to see now there could be possibilities where the limit may exist uh, but the function may not be continuous for example if we have a rational function we may have a hole here right and kind of like this right so we could see some functions whose graph is like this now clearly let us say this point is a hole at one in that case we know this is a discontinuous function and this type of discontinuity is called a hole but in this particular case at a point a or in fact in this particular function at any point limit exists right so so the limit exists in this case so we have limit it will exist since both when you are approaching from left side or right side you approach one fixed value correct so at one if I say that this value is let us say B then the limit is B correct so the limit exists the value of the function may not may not be there I mean may not exist that means we know the function is not defined at one so f of one is not defined so that is the case where we have a hole right so to give you an example uh, if I have a function which is x minus 1 in the denominator and the numerator has a factor x minus 1 times it could be anything right so so that kind of function will be a function which could be represented like this where the limit will exist and there is a discontinuity so what we notice here is since the value of the function is not defined at that point limit cannot be equal to the value of the function 
So, so this condition, second condition is not met. Limit exists, but it is not equal to value of the function. So the function is discontinuous. And this particular type of discontinuity is a whole, correct? So that is, that is one example. Now we could talk about another type of function. Let me take a, a jump discontinuity this time. And let's say this is a very simple function which we always come across. And if it is 1 for all the values greater than 0, and is 0 for all the values less than 0, then in this case, uh, limit of the function as x approaches 0 is what? Does not exist, right? So it, if it does not exist, it really means that the function is discontinuous. So for discontinuity, you could say a couple of things. Uh, one is break in the graph. Is that, that is so apparent. When you look at it, so break in the graph. That is first thing. So there is a break, there is a break, correct? So there is a discontinuity. And second thing we say that the limit uh, is not equal to value of function. Limit may exist, as you can see, limit may exist, right? But it is not equal to value of the function. Now, then we have so many different cases. If there is a jump discontinuity, now in this particular case, limit does not exist itself, right? So it does not exist. Now, similar case could be also there in a function which is a reciprocal function, for example. Now, it has a vertical asymptote. Now, in this particular function also, limit does not exist at x equals to 0, right? So, limit as x approaches 0 for the function does not exist. Here, the reason is it is a vertical asymptote, right? So, let me write down the reason. Vertical asymptote. Or infinite discontinuity uh, could be the other way of putting it. There could be one type, right? So, or infinite, we also refer to this discontinuity. This type of discontinuity is referred to as infinite discontinuity. Now, here we have another type of discontinuity, and that is jump discontinuity. Right. So, in jump discontinuity and in infinite discontinuity, limit does not exist. However, in whole discontinuity, limit exists. And at times, what we can do in this particular case, this is a special case, we can fill in the hole by defining another function. So, we could actually fill in the hole and make it continue. So, that possibility is there when we are talking about a whole discontinuity. So based on these aspects, we have a couple of videos. I'll provide you with those links. And I hope the concept is clear to you. You can go through those links and then review the whole chapter. That should help you a lot. Thank you and all the best.